Okay, this is a demonstration of the query I wrote, which will speed up the alter column query. Here's a test file, and it has about 116 rows. They're all numeric. And the point is to find each row that just has a whole value which should be changed to integer and ignore all the other ones that might end in me or m or p and run the query. So I've got a query set up here and originally I just did it for columns ending with the number 75 but I can remove that constraint and I can run them all at once here in the query editor. And then that should find all of the columns that I want. And then I can just paste it into a file. And uh, I really only need the names of the columns that I want to update. And then I can just simply save that to a CSV file somewhere, um, like columns to update CSV. Like that, like that, and then I can go ahead and open it and get that into the right order that I want, which is going to be open and um, looks okay. So now I can just copy all of those and I can transpose them into the new order that I want here and do edit paste special and transpose it. So now I have all of the um, have all of the names of the columns that I want to change all at once. In this case there was it found 28 but it could be hundreds. Now I have them in a, a format and I want to set up the alter statement. So what I did was uh, oh dear now my I can't believe it. Just at this moment, my VM shut itself down. <laughs> Perfect timing. Right in the middle of the video that I was trying to capture. That's so hilarious. Um, hopefully this will only take a few seconds and it won't be a huge disaster. Here we go. So there's going to be a um, an input file. I wrote a little code that will do this. And the input file just has the rows that you want to change. So I can go ahead and paste those in. And uh, oh, I should have done a, um, well, I can do this. I just want to get rid of the that extra space there. I don't want that to impact anything. Oops. We go. So this will be just taking an extra step that makes it clean. Okay, that should be all set now, and I can then update this. Okay, so now I've got the input file, I can save that. And now I just want to go to the uh, there's the template. And now I just want to run the file, which is right here. So if I run it, and run it again, now it should be done. And I should have the output reload. There it is. So here's all the statements that I, that were just generated for that. And I should be able to now go back to my Postgres table, which you previously saw was all numeric, and then I can run it. And uh, Oh, didn't like the last closing state. Oh, because there's an extra comma there. Yeah, that's part of the code. Okay, now I'll run it. It successfully run in 400 milliseconds. And now if you look at the properties, then we should see that the columns that it found have all been changed to integer, integer, all, all the ones that were found by the query are now changed to integer. 
So that's correct. And then the last thing is to just simply look at the data. And that usually takes a moment for the query, it takes uh, probably 10 seconds or something for it to load the data. And then you'll see that um, here it is. So now we'll see that here's the column households. And you can see all the columns have the data untouched. So that's my method to do, um, you know, dozens or hundreds of rows in a fairly straightforward way. And I think that worked.